I'm all for a little joke. I'm all for getting a little bit agitated, not scoring a few chances. That is taking the fucking piss. That is daylight fucking robbery and I'm a victim. I'm a victim and I'm a punchline and it has got to stop now! No! Well, it's full time and to be fair, I'm just, I'm fed up. Absolutely fed up. Um, yeah, we, we didn't lose today, which is fucking a miracle. But um, no, I'll be, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with Morbury now. I'm done. He just, he just has, he hasn't got a clue. He did, he, he doesn't. Like last three games, playing teams who were in a fucking relegation battle, and fucking, we literally scored what fucking. We literally just scored two goals, one of them being from fucking a penalty, and the other one being a shitty fucking goal from a corner. Like, it just has not been fucking good enough at all. And to be fair, we didn't even deserve to get a point today. To be fair, I thought Millwall, to be fair, I think if Millwall won the game, it probably wouldn't have been much of a shot to say that they probably deserved it. I mean, to be fair, I think I think a draw, it, 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 it depends on your ass, I think a draw probably might be a fair result, but. But, uh. I just. I'm fed up. I'm, I'm, into, I'm past the point of just fucking ranting and shouting. I'm just fucking fed up. I'm fucking just fed up. I really am. I mean, he, he tried to change it against Huddersfield, but it just didn't all fucking work. The players just didn't give a shit. And to the extent, he's, he went back to 4 1 4 1, which it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. He's gone back to trying for a fo try formation. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't. It's absolute shit. It's absolute shit. And to be fair, but he, he's more brave. He's just. He just hasn't got. He, there's no ideas. There's no ideas. You know, he's did the usual shit today. Where the 55th minute, he brought on three attacking players, all on the road, just throwing them out there and expecting to do something. And to be fair, and to be fair, I thought Pritchard actually did make a difference. And to be fair, it's a travesty how he's not even getting fucking played. He, he, like obviously, obviously, he's not even starting. Like he's not even fucking coming on. There's a so most weeks. It's just a fucking travesty how he's basically getting pushed out the club. He, he, I've already admitted he's, he's not going to be in fucking January. He's not going to be here in January. No way. But, um... Yeah, Bradley Dak, fuck me, man. What a sh what a fucking waste of a sign he was. Like, you, you get people who have a pop at the fucking the model and shit like that. People being you know, all experienced players. Fair enough, but... The one... The one more person I did bring in who was a man made experienced player, he's been utter shit. So... What do... What do we have to? What do we go, f go from there? I mean, two foul defenses all over the place again the day. Just all four of them were absolutely diabolical the day. Like fucking human or nine, literally like fucking dumb and dumber on the right side of the fence. Like to be fair, as soon as Pembele and Elise are back full, it, they get fucking get them in that team instead of them do. Ballard, I think, has definitely gotten away with a little lot lately. He just has not been good enough. Lady and Niall Huggins as well. He's he's just not a left back, is he? He's not a left back at all. He had a poor game the day. Ekwar, to be fair, for you have to be fair for Ekwar was much better than what he has been. He definitely looked as though like he, he there was a lot more urgency about him. You can tell with Ekwar, he just isn't a very he's a very laid back player, which isn't great at times. Uh, Dan Neal and the Sheesh, I thought them two were fucking waste of space in the field. Just then, yeah, both, both, both of them just went fucking missing in the game. Jack Clark, other than the penalty, he was absolutely shit again. So I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna have people fucking slit for that. I just didn't think it was good enough at all. I'm missing Burstow. What 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 does Burstow offer? He offers absolutely nout. And up to the boy, he's he, he needs to fucking learn the offside rule. It's, it's, he's been he's been eighty. He's been a fuck. He's a fuck boy. He does not know the offside rule. And the subs came, came on Roberts. Fucking like you you, you could you could see what he, he was trying to do, I suppose. But no, his passing was shite, and my my end did not my end did not have enough time at all. To uh, make an impact, and honestly, it's just, it's just, it's just getting frustrating now. It really is. We're just, just, we're, we're, and with our fucking our fixes coming up as well, it's just not going to get any easier. We've got West Brom and Leeds next two home games. That's, that's not going to be fun at all. Then Bristol City away, who are usually pretty solid at home. 
Then we've got fucking Coventry who are starting to pick up form. We've got Hull as well, who are a tough team to beat. Rotherham and the end of the year. It's just. Just with, with these fixtures coming up, this is not. <laughs> Not easy. And to be fair, these last three games against teams who have all been absolute pants this season. The fact that we've only come away with, with, with one point is just embarrassing. I mean, to be fair, you looked at those fixtures, but like during the international break, oh, yeah, it should be really like nine points, maybe seven. But come with one point against teams who are against the three teams who are outside the relegation, it's just not good enough at all. And to be fair, even though, even though we drew, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I think Warby needs to go. He needs to go. We need to bring in somebody else, someone who's got some fresh ideas, who knows what to do. You know, what? when he brings on subs, he knows what to do with the fucking subs, not not just throw them on the hope. You know, and it's like to be fair, I've I really have enjoyed Morbid being the manager. It's something you really, you know, at a time where we needed stability. It, when Alex Neil left, and to be fair, he came in. We finished f fucking finishing the playoffs last season. Um. Started the season out pretty well, but then you know, since October it's just not been good enough. And yeah, I, I know we had those that little spell when just before the, the national break, where we obviously picked up, picked up seven points against Norwich, Swansea, Birmingham. But apart from those three, it's been five five defeats in our last nine. We, we, we literally won two in our last nine. Only one clean sheet in that time as well. It just seems as always this fucking groundhog day at the minute. And I, I don't want to be fair, I think Mowbray's taking us as far as he can take us. I think it's time to make the, the step up and um, get another manager in because we fucking need it. To be fair, the Millwall, I mean, I, th I think they'll get better. I mean, to be fair, I thought Norton Cuffey, by the way, what a fucking player he is, by the way, he's unreal. Um, as well, you know, George Savile and Mitchell are a pretty solid midfield pairing as well, so. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that long one as well. He's a fucking rapid cunt as well. I, th I think Millwall. Well, I think to be fair, I think they'll start to get up. I think I think they'll start getting a few more points. I think they'll, they'll be. I don't, I don't think there'll be any relegation trouble, really. But uh, yeah, it's just just want to do something right now. Guess I'll have to wait and see. I might end up making a follow up video later on. <laughs> more we've been sacked than not. I'll have to wait and see. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. It's been a pretty miserable one, I suppose. But uh, I've said what I need to say, so that's, that's that's all it is, really. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.